Hey guys! So, happy belated solstice. I wanted to come on here tonight and share with you what I did over the solstice and how I celebrated because it was the coolest thing. <laughs> the coolest way for me to celebrate and it was really something that I had to kind of get out of my box for. So, I attended a Norse Pagan gathering for the Fellowship of Northern Traditions. They are a nonprofit organization that is for anybody under Northern traditions, basically. So Celtic, Slavic, Norse. Um, they are an all inclusive community, and they initially actually started by Jacob, who is the Wisdom of Odin here on YouTube. And it's been interesting because I have been following Jacob since the end of 2019, and I've watched his channel bloom to the point where he opened a Patreon, where he has had a Discord community going for quite some time now, and most of the time when he had been gathering, doing gatherings for <clears throat> um, Norse pagan folk, he was, they were putting these on and organizing them through the Discord, and then they decided that they wanted to go nonprofit and try and make things as legit as possible. So that's how the Fellowship of Northern Tradition started to become a thing. And I had been meaning to attend a gathering for the last year and a half now, I'd say. And I have not been able to do it because life was kind of throwing a curveball after curveball at me. Uh, initially, first of all, it was my husband and I weren't really comfortable quite yet because we wanted to get the COVID vaccine. And then a few months after that, my husband spent most of last year unemployed. So, because, yay, yay. <laughs> but all things are good now. We are vaccinated and healthy and my husband is working. And so I was finally able to attend a gathering for midsummer. Now, I really wanted to record while I was there, but honestly, it being my first gathering and trying to make a good first impression and trying to get to know everybody and get a feel for the group and the dynamic, I just decided to not do so. Um, I felt like it would be a lot better if I just sort of acclimated and all that. Um, but I am going to kind of talk about my experiences, what we did, and what I wore <laughs> and uh, share with you guys a little bit about the Fellowship of Northern Traditions. So we had our gathering in Iowa and this was, um, the Fellowship of Northern Traditions is sort of split up into regions and then there is also international as well. So as we were putting on our North Central Regional Gathering in Iowa, there was also one happening in the Netherlands that same weekend celebrating the solstice. So that was really cool. But so we ended up having it in Iowa and I'm up in Minnesota, so it was not too difficult to get there. Thankfully, Ian, who is a fellowship leader, and I will actually put the link to his Instagram down below. Um, <clears throat> he and I carpooled. We had a grand old time and it was super fun. Right when I got there and started to really kind of and introduce myself to everybody. Everybody was super welcoming and it was really kind of fun to watch like the banter and the community and I was able to kind of fit right into that. I didn't feel uncomfortable and I have to say that that is really groundbreaking for me because I'm a shy person, I'm an introvert, I can handle conversation and make conversation pretty well. I actually enjoy it as long as I'm comfortable, which is one of the reasons why I have a YouTube channel. But sometimes it is very hard for me to feel where, where I fit in, where my place is. That's been always something that I've struggled with. Um, I'm a bit of a misfit, always have been. So I didn't feel any of that awkward stage. I didn't feel any of that mm, uncomfortableness of just not sure what to do. I really made an effort to not just stick close to the person that I was more familiar with. I really made an effort to um, branch out, speak to everybody, introduce myself, have conversations, have experiences, and that's something that used to not come 
naturally to me at all. So being able to do that was really incredible. It felt like it came very easily and it was just, you know, I can't speak enough to how much of a big deal that is for me. So there was about, I think 12 or 13 of us. So it wasn't a big group, which was also, I think, part of its success for me is that it wasn't intimidating and I was able to really feel comfortable. And we put on a couple of rituals. Let's see, there was a uh, Friday night, we opened with a land vitir ritual, which is the land vitir are the land spirits in the Norse tradition. And um, it's it was really kind of fun to do the communal effort of, you know, everybody working together for the rituals, everybody working together for the um, the meals and stuff too. And I always tried to make sure to step in and do my part as well. And it just all came naturally to me. It was really amazing. So Saturday we did a ritual to four and we also did, um, I'm trying to recall the events in my head. Uh, the ritual to Thor was amazing. Shortly after it, I felt called to go sit under a tree and meditate. And I was able to really kind of go into a deeper meditation, just sort of vibing off the spiritual energy and like the collective energy of being around other pagans and feeling connected to them, having that sense of community. Because when you're a solitary practitioner, and that's all you've known for two decades. And this, and you find a place where you fit and it works, it's huge. Now, there are many people who are happy to practice solitary and they'll do so for the rest of their lives. I, for the longest time, thought that I was going to be that person. But at some point, I realized I could only go so far. And I just realized that I needed to really branch out and get out of my comfort zone. So celebrating the solstice this way was, it was really life changing, honestly. Um, and that that's, I don't use that lightly at all. So um, even my simple meditations and being able to connect was, it happened so quickly. It came on so strongly. I had, uh, had a lot of spiritual messages throughout the the weekend. I had greetings from several of the deities that I work with. I saw the only one that I didn't see that I work with directly is Brig. Um, but I saw Odin, I saw Freya a ton being my matron. That was pretty cool. <laughs> um, I saw Hell a lot as well. I, I've continued to get messages from Hell ever since leaving, which has been interesting. Um, and, you know, every other deity that we interacted with throughout the weekend, I felt connected to in some way. We had several different meditations, group meditations that we had done that were, that were really amazing. Um, we had a sound bath performed by Lena, a member of the community, and I really have never experienced anything like that before. That was incredible. It was really fun to see people bring each of their niches or their talents or their traits to this and have it all kind of come together so smoothly. It was really an interesting thing to experience and to kind of watch unfold for the first time. I've tried, there's a large Nor Norse pagan community here in the Twin Cities and I am grateful for it. Um, I attend Pagan Pride every year, but, or at least every year that I can, I, I, but I have struggled to connect with others in the community and I, it just, it didn't flow the way that this did. So that was so eye opening for me and to have my spiritual practice sort of tie into that and evolve that way was unlike anything I really ever experienced. <clears throat> so it was really, really, I, I, I'm probably going to keep like looping a little bit. I'm sorry. I should have honestly done this shortly after I came home. It's been about a week now that I've been home, but I was trying to process a lot. So, um, 
but we had done um uh Thor bloat the next day. Um we had also done a ritual to Mimir going to his well and then asking for some insight, which was really fascinating and phenomenal. Um and then Sunday we also did a ritual to a year, the cost of healing, which was really incredible. I actually had a visitation from my grandfather during that situation, that whole meditation. Um, and it was just fun to lay on the grass and look up at the stars and have conversations about everything pagan in your wheelhouse with people who believe what you do. I have not experienced that before. I have been alone a lot. <laughs> And it's just, to me, I love connecting with people online, and that's the largest reason why I have this channel, is to seek camaraderie, to sometimes speak out into the void and have people talk back and bounce ideas off of. Um, so a lot of the times you'll see me do, of course, those night owl rambles where I have head noise that's spiritual, and I really want to come and talk to you guys about it. And I love that. I love that sense of community. And every community has their issues and, you know, no one is without their flaws. But being able to sit and have this camaraderie and have this spiritual exchange was it was a game changer. Um to I really had wished that we could have like gone on hikes and stuff because that's something that I really enjoy and be out in the woods more. But we were in Iowa and it was ninety out, so and that was a little rough. But we did have some really awesome moments like around the fire, just gathering or just goofing off too, which was fantastic. Um, everybody was so sweet and so wonderful and so funny and just I don't know I don't know. How else to really what else to say or how else to really describe it but um i also had so much fun with my midsummer outfit i feel like i'm channeling my ancestors with my swedish ancestry it just it's it was really fun um i felt very, very connected to my my heritage kind of celebrating the solstice in the ways that maybe my ancestors have done at one point in time and far back in my family's history it just was incredible, and uh, I'm looking forward to having more experiences like this. I'm looking forward to celebrating being part of a community and feeling like I fit in a healthy way. And um, yeah, I will definitely share more on this as I continue to go to more gatherings and to continue to familiarize myself more with the community and be um, a bigger part of it, which again, I will continue to stress, is a huge freaking step for me. Like, massive. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of all I had for this video. I really wanted to kind of get into more of my experiences and what had happened during it, but um, I'm still processing. So I think I was a little over ambitious when I was like, yeah, even though it's been a week out, I can sit down and do this video. Not not quite. I'm still going to publish it, though, because it works. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, happy solstice. I hope you all had a wonderful solstice. And um, we are now in the darker half of the year, although Minnesota is going to be boiling for like the next three months because that's what it does. <laughs> and um, yeah, hope you and yours are all well. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, blessed be.